Hi, ladies, and welcome to another Sunday morning. Today, I am giving you more of a little wig chat and kind of discussion rather than an actual review. Um, I'm oftentimes questioned about why a certain wig looks a certain way on me and it looks a little bit different on somebody else. And there are a lot of factors with this. I think a lot of it depends on if you manipulate a wig. I think a lot of it depends on if you shake a wig or start allowing to let the fibers go loose. I happen to like big hair. So I try, be that as it may, to make my wigs a little bit bigger than normal. But another really important factor is the color of a wig. And certain colors bring out a different personality of a wig or certain colors can give a wig a different vibe. Now, um, oh, before I start, do you like these earrings? Aren't they cool? I got them off of um, Raven's Gifts on Etsy, and uh, these are as light as a feather. They look heavy, but they're not. I love them. I got these bumblebees, and I got another um, pair in cicada. But I'm rambling, so let me get back to the subject of wigs. Now, this wig was gifted to me by my friends at Aesthetica Designs, and this is Avalon. Avalon is the wig that I'm going to focus on how she looks different with other colors, okay? Now, this color is R1226 CHM, okay? So we have like some dark roots, some dark brown roots working, and we have very chromey and very blonde highlights. She's gorgeous. I love the way she looks with black. I love a lighter wig against a black shirt. So as you can see, she's very wavy. She's very beach wavy. You can really see the definition of the wave pattern when um, you have a highlighted shade. Okay, so I'll turn around so you can see her from all angles. Okay, so here's my right side. Here is the back, and hold on, I'll show you how she looks on the left side. Here's the left side. Whoops, here's the left side. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of definition with this, and this color works for my pale skin, because I am wearing a darker colored shirt. Um, yeah, under normal circumstances and for video purposes, I should really have more color on my lips, but I prefer a neutral lip. So that's what I'm wearing. I just think it looks, I think a neutral lip looks better on some people of a certain age not all some i am one of them that looks better in a neutral lip so let's get on to the next color shall we uh, my nose is like running like a tap today i don't know what is the problem these earrings though aren't they great they are fabulosity hanging from my ears. And the great thing is, they're bees that won't sting because I'm allergic to bees. So if I get stung by a regular bee, it's like EpiPen time or emergency room time. And um, these aren't going to sting me. Who doesn't love that? Now, next, I have Avalon in my new favorite color chocolate smoke 
I happen to love this color because she mimics my natural hair color of yesteryear before I went gray. So let me put her on. Let me adjust her. And here we go. A little hand work here. Now, as you can see, in this lighting, in my house, where I probably have the worst lighting of all time, you can't see the definition in this darker shade. But if I move in closer, you can see that there are multi-dimensions here. It all depends on the lighting. Now, for some, this may be too dark. In real life, not this god-awful lighting in my kitchen nook, but in real life, this Avalon looks absolutely beautiful, and she is one of my favorite color wigs. I freaking love chocolate smoke. But as you can see, it gives a whole it gives a whole different appearance. I would say that looking at me in this video monitor, um, it's got more of an edgy look, more of maybe even a little bit of a gothic feel, but, or I, I think I'll stick with edgy, but you can't see the definition of the waves as much. You can't see how she truly is a spectacular head of hair. Hold on, and I'm gonna turn around and show you how she looks from side to side and in the back. So here's my right side. Here's the back. And here's my left side. Now here's, here's where it gets weird. Because even though the way she's photographing now and the way she's filming now, somebody might say, oh, I'm not crazy about that color. No, in outside light and under normal circumstances, stances, she looks great. Mind you, you're not going to see as much definition in a darker shade than you are in a lighter shade. So you have to kind of go with the flow of what am I looking for? For me, this works simply because she reminds me so much, like literally so much of my bio hair. After I went to Adam and had it blown out, he cut my hair into layers very similar to this. When he blow dried my hair out, it was very similar to this. For me, this is an emotional attachment. I love this Avalon and I love this shade. It all comes down to individual preference. I think for women that have had darker hair and don't have that hair anymore or have had coarse hair when blown out looks softer, this is a great chocolate smoke is a great, great shade. I have a Jameson in chocolate smoke and I absolutely adore her. For me, this works. I'm not saying it's going to work for everybody because that's part of what having a wig is. You make it your own. Okay, so next I have a different shade coming up. And I do keep all my wigs in their original boxes. Hold on one second while I wrap her up. Okie doke. Now, this is Avalon in Caramel Kiss. And I have to say, out of all the wig shades out there, I think Caramel Kiss is the most flattering on every single skin tone. Well, what did I do here? 
There we go. And you know, I'm not, I'm not very, I don't treat my wigs. Uh, I, I take very good care of my wigs, but when I'm putting them on, I don't treat them gingerly because it's synthetic and they can, they can take it. They can, they can take a good like shaking. They can take a good finger plumping. There's a lot that a synthetic wig can take. They're like a Timex watch. They take a licking and they keep on ticking. So here we go. Here's Avalon and Caramel Kiss. Now this falls exactly in between the um, chocolate smoke and the blonder highlighted wig that I have, um, the RH blah, blah, blah chrome. Every wig wearer out there should definitely have a wig in a caramel kiss color or a latte color or just a caramel shade. See how she falls between the two? You have the definition. You've got the darker base hair, which basically runs the gamut of the entire wig. And then you have the subtle highlights. The subtle highlights definitely give this more definition. More definition than chocolate smoke, but less definition than the um, R, than the, whoops, than the R26 chrome, okay? Now, this wig, I keep meaning to wash her, and I really have to. Maybe I'll do it this afternoon, but I love her with this worn look. I just, I, I love Avalon so much. This is the Avalon that I wore to um, Cincinnati the week of my daughter's wedding. And I wore her a lot on errands. I wore her a lot. I wore her tons over the summer. I love this color. And somebody is barking. Either he saw another dog or Amazon is dropping something off at my door. So let me show you how she looks from side to side and the back. Okay, so here is my right side. And you can see the definition. It's a nice contrast between the dark and the light. Here we go in the back. And here we go on my left side. Do you see how her personality is different than the chocolate smoke? And do you see how Caramel Kiss's personality is different than the RT Chrome? You have three different shades, three different looks, three different vibes from one style wig. And I think that's a great thing. I also think that even if you are a seasoned wig wearer, it doesn't hurt to get the same wig in different shades. If you have, and I know this might seem weird to some people, but I kind of, I kind of like this idea. If you have bio hair and you are thinking of a different color, it doesn't pay. If you have, it doesn't, it doesn't, how can I put this? It does pay. If you have the budget to buy a wig such as this in different shades, so you can see how you will look in different hair colors. I freaking love Caramel Kiss. And I, I don't know, I just think every single wig that I've ever had in this color turns out to be a wig that I wear in constant rotation. So again, same wig, this is Avalon, this is in Caramel Kiss. I, I love it. Okay, so lastly, and look, V is staying my wig. Stop that. <laughs> Okay, lastly, I have her, 
in a gray. And this shade is Chrome RT1B. I also have a Jameson in this shade too. And now that my hair, or what I have left of my hair is basically this shade, I kind of like this too, because it is rather natural. Here we go, let me just adjust her. Now this. I'll tell you, for all you gray haired ladies out there, whether you have bio hair or not, if you have bio hair and your gray hair is like not the good gray, might I suggest Avalon in this shade or any other wig in this shade. This is a great, great, great shade. Now I'm going to turn around so you can get to look at her from side to side and the back. Here's my right side. Here's the back. And here is my left side. This is not your granny's gray. This is the new gray. This is the gray that the modern and stylish woman who is over 60, even over 50, it's for the mature woman who has started to go gray and just wants a youthful vibe. I think she's great. Now the definition on this is slightly different. Um, this definitely shows a more wavier vibe than layered. I don't think the layers show up as much on this wig as maybe the Caramel Kiss or, or um, the other blonde, the blonde with the highlights. I don't think so, but that's not a bad thing. This shows off a wave pattern in a way that the other wigs don't. And there's definitely still definition in this one. I don't know, what's, what are your thoughts? I just felt like doing this little video to kind of show you the difference between shades and how different shades in a wig and actually look different. Every wig is different. You're not gonna get, how can I put this? When you get a wavy wig or a curly wig, that wig is not gonna be the same. There are gonna be slight little differences no matter what. Basically, it's gonna be the same, but as far as little nuances, it's not. Now, I do notice that this particular Avalon doesn't seem to be as layered as the other ones are, but the wave pattern is definitely there. And the wave pattern seems a little bit looser. That doesn't mean she's not Avalon because she is. She's got the basic shape. She's got the basic length. She's got the basic like stats as all the other Avalons She's just a little bit different. And I think a lot of that is due to the different shades and the different colors. So that's just, that's kind of my take. I'm a big fan of different shades and different wigs because they all give you a general different personality. Now, I will say with a straighter wig like Jameson, you can count on it looking pretty much the same throughout. But with wavy wigs, there are slight differences. So that's it. This is four looks at Aesthetica Designs Avalon. She's one of my favorite wigs. I absolutely adore her. She is a great stinking summer wig. She's a great winter wig too. So that's it. But I also, before I go, I do want to add one thing. With different shades of wigs, 
I think different shades of makeup kind of help as well. Now, I did mention in the beginning of this video that I am a neutral person when it comes to all of my makeup. But when I do wear a wig this color, I do add more blush and I do add more um, lip color. I have worn red lips with this and I like the way that it looks. But oh my God, doing a red lip takes so long because you have to be so precise. You have to really just like make sure everything is right or that red lip just isn't going to look good. And I am by nature an incredibly lazy person. So I would wear more of a brighter pink with this and a brighter pink blush. That's me. Everybody has their different ways of wearing makeup and wearing makeup with wigs. So that's it. I will see you later. Have a great day and hopefully the sun is shining where you are. It is shining today, so I'm kind of happy about that. And that's it. I will see you later. Bye.